Welcome to the Bite Size Security Podcast, your source for practical online security advice. Join me, my guests, and sometimes my trained AI voice as I explore ways to protect your digital footprint against the growing cyber threats. From mastering better passwords to understanding encryption and VPNs, the Bite Size Security Podcast breaks complex topics into clear guidance. It's time to take control of your online presence. You're listening to the Bite Size Security Podcast. Unlocking solutions for your digital life. Let's get to it. Hello, listeners, and welcome back to Bite Sized Security. Today, we're diving into a topic that's reshaping the landscape of online security, passkeys. With us is Dr. Lillian Hartfield, Chief of Cybersecurity Innovations at Secure Tech Solutions. Dr. Hartfield, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mark. It's a pleasure to be here and discuss this transformative approach to authentication. Let's start at the beginning. What exactly are passkeys and how do they differ from traditional passwords? Great question, Mark. Passkeys are a new type of login credential that allows users to access sites and services without entering a password. They're built on the web authentication or web auth standard, which uses public key cryptography to enhance account security. The beauty of passkeys is that there's nothing to remember, and they're stored in an encrypted format on your devices, making them more secure against data breaches. That sounds promising. But why are we moving towards passkeys? What's the problem with our current password system? The first digital password was invented back in 1961, and since then, passwords have become an integral part of our digital lives. However, as they've become more complex, people struggle to remember them, leading to password reuse and the use of simple passwords. This poses significant security risks. Passkeys aim to address these challenges by offering a more secure and user-friendly alternative. So, how do passkeys enhance security compared to traditional passwords? Passkeys leverage public key cryptography. When you use a passkey, you have both a private and a public key. The public key is stored on a company's servers, while the private key remains on your device, making it challenging for cyber criminals to steal. Unlike passwords, which can be phished, passkeys can't be easily compromised in phishing attacks. That's reassuring. Can you walk us through the process of creating and using passkeys? Certainly. When you visit a website that supports passkeys, you can create an account secured by a passkey instead of a password. During the setup, the site will ask you to confirm your authenticator, which could be your smartphone or a password manager that supports passkeys. The authenticator generates related public and private keys. When logging in, the site server sends a challenge to the authenticator, which your private key solves, allowing for a secure and swift login process. What devices currently support passkeys and how widespread is their adoption? Passkeys are compatible with many modern devices. Tech giants like Microsoft, Google, and Apple have worked collaboratively to develop them. Apple's iOS 16 introduced passkeys, utilizing Touch ID and Face ID for authentication. Android devices store passkeys using the Google Password Manager. As for web browsers, Chrome, Edge, Safari, and Firefox all currently support passkeys. Major brands like eBay, PayPal, Best Buy, and Nvidia have also embraced this technology. That's quite a range of support. But what about password managers? Do any of them support passkeys? Absolutely, Mark. Password managers are evolving alongside this shift towards passkeys. One notable example is 1Password, which allows users to store passkeys within the manager itself. This offers an alternative to storing passkeys in a device's keychain or other storage. By integrating passkeys, password managers are further enhancing their value proposition, ensuring users have a centralized, secure location for all their authentication needs. What happens if someone upgrades their smartphone? How are passkeys transferred? When you upgrade, passkeys can be seamlessly transferred to the new device. On Android, encryption keys are securely transferred during the setup of a new phone. For Apple users, passkeys are stored in the iCloud keychain, ensuring a smooth transition when switching devices. Lastly, do you foresee passkeys replacing passwords entirely in the future? While passwords have been around for a long time, the push for passkeys from industry leaders suggests a shift towards this more secure method. It might take time, but with the advantages passkeys offer, we could see a significant reduction in password reliance over the next few years. Dr. Hartfield, thank you for shedding light on this fascinating topic. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you, Mark. It's essential for everyone to stay informed about the evolving landscape of cybersecurity, and I'm glad to have been a part of this discussion. And to our listeners, thank you for joining us on Bite Sized Security. Stay safe, stay informed, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Please share this podcast if you find it valuable by telling people to visit bitesizedsecurity.show and subscribe and give a review on whatever platform you listen to this podcast. It would be most appreciated. Thanks for listening to another episode of Bite Size Security, the quick hitting podcast serving bite sized tips to boost your online safety. We covered a lot of ground today and easy to digest nuggets of practical cybersecurity advice. If you want to learn, 
more ways to protect your data and identity online, be sure to subscribe for future episodes. We'll continue breaking down complex security topics into straightforward guidance anyone can apply. Visit our website, bitesizesecurity.show, for recaps and show notes from all of our podcasts. We hope these bite-sized cyber lessons have given you new tools in your digital security toolbox. This is your host signing off until next time. Stay safe in the digital world. You've been listening to Bite Size Security.